right now so uh, hope all you are fine i am also fine so uh, today i will go wellness stevens 1879 to 1955 unit 27 already i have covered sunday morning okay so objectives live and works and sunday morning already i have covered uh, so today i will go the emperor of ice cream so i request you all to like share and subscribe this channel so that you will get all mec notification also your city notifications uh, and all the questions and the answers and key notes for your igno exam also your net exam also you will get so we will go well as steven 1879 to 1955 the emperor of ice cream so today i will cover the emperor of ice cream taste background and critical appreciation and notes okay so we will go the emperor of ice cream with the objectives life and works well as steven's picture you can see so already i have covered sunday morning okay so we will go the emperor of ice cream uh, the poem is very very important for your exam and uh, in previous year questions you also get this uh, poem so that the critical appreciation regarding the question you can appear this questions okay so that the emperor of ice cream i will cover here it is the taste of the poem for the emperor of ice cream call the roller of big cigars the muscular one and bid him fuel in kitchen cups concupiscent cords let the wenches dawdle in such dress as they are used to wear and let the boys bring flowers in last month's newspapers let be be finale of sim the only emperor is the emperor of ice cream take from the dresser of dill lacking the three glass knobs that sit on which the embroidered fan tails once and spread it so as to cover her face even honey feet protrude they come to show how cold she is and dumb let the lamp affix its beam the only emperor is the emperor of ice cream here it is the background and critical appreciation you can see so already i have read the poem the emperor of ice cream you can see what a ice cream contains the whip cards okay these are the words you can see inside the poem so what what are the simile and what are the metaphors we will get so background and critical appreciation so we will go this short poem appeared in 1923 in 1933 steven said that this was his favorite poem because of its combination of a deliberately common place costume with the essential guidelines of poetry norton 1155 here it is described okay here it is a deliberately common place costume steven remarked on the singularity of this poem stevens remarked on the singularity of this poem any poem he explained must have a peculiarity as if it was the momentarily complete idiom of that which prompts it even if what prompts it is the vaguest emotion that is not an 1155 the poem setting is a found real an occasion which brings about one of steven's favorite just a positions that between life and death in his letters 341 steven writes that the poem is obviously not about ice cream but about being as distinguished from seeming to be so ice cream is an absolute good ice cream has the connotations of coldness and pleasure a combination that sets the tone for this poem about the way life and death pleasure and pain coexist in being the image of ice cream symbolizes grotesque death and the wake which are parts of life ice cream is at once cold agreeable ordinary and gesture 
and hence a symbol of life and death ice cream in this form also symbolizes change and flux which are both essential parts of life it symbolizes change and flux because it melts quickly at the same time it also symbolizes firmness and stability in its frozen state okay so the idea conveyed by this poem is that the reality is of fixed appearance it is sure to change the emperor of ice cream uses change and flux as its central idea so here it is the main key point it is a funeral poem and life and death the controversy of life and death here it is used and the emperor of ice cream uses change and flux as its central idea okay so we will go the notes the title suggests perhaps in the combination of emperor a word denoting power and rule with the word ice cream a sense of comic lightness we should not take either death or life too seriously is what the poet seems to be telling us in his title so here is a stanza 1 l3 concupiscent concupiscent cords okay concupiscent cords the word concupiscent means intense sexual desire okay in 1945 stevens wrote that this phrase has no genealogy no no genealogy okay no genealogy they merely express the conspic concupiscence of life but by contrast with the things in relation to them in the poem they express or accentuate life's destitution and it is that this gives them something more than a cheap luster letters 500 quoted uh, quoted in norton 1155 what is contrasted to the cards is the dead body of the woman described in the second stanza there is also a sexual image in the reference to cigars a phallic a phallic image sex that is life generating energy and death go on simultaneously in this poem okay so concupiscent cords means it is a sexual energy or sex a life generating energy and death go on simultaneously in this poem then l4 line 4 let the ventures dawdle the ventures young girls and boys of the following line both represent youth something the dead woman has left far behind her then line 6 flowers in last month's newspapers note again the juxtaposition of the past something that is dead and gone old news in the phrase last month's newspapers with something fresh and growing and living flowers then line 7 let be we finale of sim a very complex line let be we finale of sim a very complex line finale could refer to the striking flourishes that mark the end of a musical composition the final end or catastrophe the line is something a paradox if one takes meaning the line could mean let being be celebrated in a display of gaudy a favorite word of stevens and usually used to describe the effect of art of poetry illusions as in art or poetry if one follows meaning the line could mean let being put an end to all illusions so here it is the meaning you can know this is a gaudy okay a favorite word of stevens then stanza 2 l9 dresser of dill this means a chest of drawers made of plain on polished wood then line 10 lacking the three glass knobs three is a very important number for christians because it represents the father the son and the holy ghost okay the fact that the dresser lacks three knobs could be taken to mean that christianity can no longer play a major role in modern western lives then l 11 line 11 embroidered fantails fantails refers to fantail pigeons what is significant is that a seat embroidered by the dead woman is now used as a shroud the woman is dead but her art the embroidered seat lives on then line 13 horny fit protrude horny means hard as horn callous 
the coldness and deadness of the woman and the attendant ugliness of death is not something we are allowed to forget okay so what do you mean by horny fit protrude horny means hard as horn callous the coldness and deadness of the woman and the attendant ugliness horny of death is not something we are allowed to forget but at the same time the beautiful seed she embroidered is also visible there is a balance between the force of death the woman's dead body and the forces of relative permanence the embroidered state okay then we will go line 15 lamp affects its beam lamp could mean both the light by the corpse and the light of the poet's imagination okay lamp affects its beam lamp could mean both the light by the corpse and the light of the poet's imagination the poet's imagination transformed the sad spectacle of the dead woman into something beautiful permanent and comforting lamp affects its beam lamp could mean the light by the corpse and the light of the poet's imagination lamp could mean both the light of the corpse and the light of the poet's imagination the light of the corpse and the light of the poet's imagination The poet's imagination transforms the sad spectacle of the dead woman into something beautiful, permanent, and comforting. Okay, so lamp could mean the light of the corpse and the light of the poet's imagination. The poet's imagination transforms the sad spectacle spectacle of the dead woman into something beautiful, permanent, and comforting. Without denying the fin- finality of our death. He does this by a series of juxtapositions in which he compares life and death, old age and youth, and boys, the past, the last month newspapers, and the present and the death, the dead woman and art embroidered seat. So, here viewers, you can find the in this poem, the emperor of ice cream. You will only remember there is a woman. and her embroidered seat at last the woman was dead and the embroidered embroidered seat was alive okay so that's the main key point in the emperor of ice cream okay so you will get the embroidered seat is alive and the woman is dead so that's the main key point here it is the embroidered seat which is alive and the woman was dead okay so this is all about you know, the emperor of ice cream which was written by wallace stevens and here you can see in this poem the norton 1155 was mentioned okay so here you can add So Norton 1155. Here it is also main key point. Norton 1155. Okay, letters 500 quoted in Norton 1155. You can add for your better impression of answers. Okay, so here you will get all about the Emperor of Ice Cream. In the next video, I will discuss about the idea of order at Key West. Okay, the idea of order at Key West. In the next video, I will. go the idea of order at key west so keep watching and like share and subscribe to this channel to get new videos on mz and city so thank you thank you viewers